Disclaimer, none of these photos are mine. I give full credit to the people who took them and wrote the articles in the description and throughout the video. Anywho, on to the video. This is the top 8 new airline startups in 2021. Without further ado, let's get started. Starting off at number 8, we have Play Airlines. Play is an Icelandic low-cost carrier which was announced last year, just a few months after the fall of another low-cost Icelandic airline, Wow Air. Play is essentially the successor to WOW, planning to connect North America to Europe via its soon-to-be Reykjavik Keflavik airport hub. The airline is looking to compete directly with Icelandair, the national airline of Iceland. Originally, the airline planned to start operations sometime in the winter of 2020, but the COVID-19 pandemic has delayed this. As of when I am recording this in April 2021, there is no definitive launch date for the airline, but it's looking like the airline will see its first flight sometime this year. Landing into number 7, we have Wizz Air Abu Dhabi. Wizz Air Abu Dhabi is one of the first newcomers to the UAE aviation industry in quite some time. It is a subsidiary of Hungarian low-cost carrier Wizz Air, but operates as its own entity under the Wizz Air Abu Dhabi brand. The first flight of the airline took place on January 15th of this year, flying from Abu Dhabi to Athens using an Airbus A321neo owned by Wizz Air, but under a new UAE registration and operating with a new Wizz Air Abu Dhabi livery. The airline's second flight took place a few weeks later on the 4th of February from Abu Dhabi to Thessaloniki, Greece. As of April 2021, the airline flies from Abu Dhabi to Alexandria, Egypt, Tel Aviv, Israel, Odessa, Ukraine, and Yevran in Armenia. Taxing off the runway into number 6, we have Fly Big. Indian regional airline Fly Big quietly launched operations on January 3rd of this year, flying its inaugural flight from its base in Indore, India to Ahmedabad. The goal of the airline is to connect cities throughout India with populations between 50,000 and 100,000 people. As of April 2021, the airline's route network consists of three routes, Indore to Ahmedabad and Raipur, and Ahmedabad to Bhopal. All of the airline's routes are still operated using the airline's one aircraft, a nine-year-old ATR-72-500. Taxiing to the airport at number five, we have Fly Pop. Flypop is a British low-cost startup, dubbed as the UK's only international low-cost airline, and wants to connect the UK to cities in India such as Ahmedabad and Amritsar, as the airline hinted to in a commercial it posted to YouTube in August of 2020. The airline plans to have a base at London Stansted, as the airline's founder and CEO Navdeep Nino Singh Judge said in an interview. Not much else is known about the airline other than that it wants to commence operations sometime in 2021. Pulling into the gate at number 4, we have FLIR. Set to enter the European market in June is Norwegian low-cost airline FLIR. The airline wants to fly from Norway to popular European holiday destinations. A core part of the airline's business model is to quote-unquote, have a digital-first approach. The airline will offer an app where you can book flights, make changes to your travel plans, and more. In an interview with CNN, the CEO of the airline, Donye Wilkstrom Frislid, said that the company wants to have a business model that's quote-unquote, adapted to the future. Deboarding at number 3 is Breeze Airways. Announced last year, Breeze Airways is expected to commence operations sometime this summer. The goal of the airline is to operate underserved routes to mid-sized U.S. airports, quote-unquote, that bigger airlines overlook. As of April 2021, the airline has leased a total of 42 Embraer ERJ-190 and 195 series aircraft from Brazilian airline Azul. A total of four E-190, E-195 series aircraft are already delivered and ready to go. The airline also has 60 Airbus A220-300s on order, the first of which is expected to be delivered around summer 2021. The route network of the airline is not yet known. Holding short of the runway at number 2 is Avello Airlines. Focusing on providing service to underserved airports in California and other western states is the Velo Airlines. The airline just recently announced that its inaugural flight will take place later this month on April 28, 2021 from its base in Burbank, California to Santa Rosa. If the airline sees success, its CEO, Andrew Levy, stated that the airline will establish another base. As of April 2021, the airline has a fleet of three Boeing 737-800s. Taking off at number one is Ego Airways. Ego Airways is an Italian regional airline that launched on March 25th of this year. The goal of the airline is to link the northern and southern regions of Italy to each other by flying to airports which have poor connections to the rest of the country. The airline's route network currently consists of 11 routes connecting the Italian cities of Catania, La Mesia Terme, Caligari, Rome, Bari, Florence, Parma, Forli, and Milan Bergamo. 
As of April 2021, the airline has one Embraer E190 series aircraft based out of Catania, with plans for the airline to lease or purchase two more. One of which will also be based out of Catania and the other out of Milan Bergamo for summer flights to Rome. The airline states that it aims to deliver a quote-unquote tailor-made service, meaning that the airline offers additional options for purchase, such as private cars and hotels, all of which can be done when you book a flight on their website. The world of aviation is exciting in 2021 with so many startups, and hopefully there will be many more successful ones to come. That being said, that does conclude this video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, turn the notification bell so you miss my videos, and comment down below which of these startups do you think is most exciting. Once again, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next video. As always, goodbye.